Uh, yeah, it's, it's very satisfying. I think it, um, it was a long week after Fiji, a nine-day turnaround, and um, there was a little bit of an unknown again about Tonga, but um, geez, they, they certainly showed up tonight, and um, uh, we got out to a nice lead there. At, um, it was credit to Tonga, they came back and uh, made a ball game of it. And um, I think after that, we responded really well. Um, you know, something we spoke about this week was remaining composed. Uh, we knew these blokes were going to come out of Buller Gate, and they did. And um, yeah, I think you know those, those first few tries were outstanding. Yeah, it's a fair point, and uh, we touched on that at half time that we uh, we went back to back penalties, which gave Tonga um, some pretty handy field position. Um, they capitalised, so that that was spoken about at half time. Yeah, he's got a bit of a bang there it's, um, to his AC um, from that kickoff. So he's uh, he's, he's in a bit of pain, but um, yeah, we'll see how he responds next week. Yeah, yeah, I think there'll be a few after that hit out, but um, yeah, hopefully he comes well. They have some massive lads as well. They're number eight, massive. What goes through your mind when you see some of those guys? And Yeah, I think if you prepare for it, and um, again, we, we spoke about this week, and we uh, we expected them to play a lot more direct um, and, and through the middle of the field, which they did uh, through their big forwards, and uh, we, we defended quite well there. That um, you know, we spoke uh, about getting the ground and, and making a contest at the breakdown. We slowed up their ball nicely, and I, I don't think uh, you know we gave them too many opportunities to get some continuity uh, in their attack. Yeah, just from a player's perspective, what were your thoughts when you saw some of that? Big inside, but not clear yeah, obviously, uh, like you said, quite big, quite intimidating, um, particularly when they do their sort of uh, their haka, their version of the haka. So, um, as Sambo said, just had to sort of prepare for it mentally, and we had a few uh, ideas and a few plans around that and how to play and really focus on ourselves. And I think that showed. Came up with a few good plays in that sort of first twenty, which gave us a lot of good momentum. Um, but yeah, obviously. A little bit ill discipline there that slipped in a little bit. Just don't think we adjusted as well as we could have probably in that little period. But we came out after half time, regrouped really well, and and got back to what we were doing really well before that. So uh, real credit to the group. You did pull away a little bit, but you say you have to lead. Is there anything you or just... um, Rugby's a game of momentum. Like you, you have a lot of momentum, and then the other team, you know, balances out generally in a game. So I just don't think we adjusted as quick as we could. Um, so I have to have a look at that, see what we can do, and. Uh, put specific measures around that, but um, yeah, after, certainly after half time, I think we adjusted really well. We, we really uh, eradicated all the stuff we were doing, and we sort of just stuck to the basics and built our way back into the game through efforts. So that was uh, that was really pleasing, particularly second game together as a team. Um, showed a bit of maturity there, which is really nice, um, and also the fast start. I was really impressed with the fast start. We were a bit slow out of the blocks last week, um, but this week was really good. A little period of really good defence again in that second half. They had to run the line for quite a few minutes. Up again. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a credit to the group. Um, obviously, building a really good culture here, really tight knit group, um, and defence reflects your attitude towards each other and your attitude as a team. And I thought uh, that showed tonight and that showed last week. So um, that's certainly non-negotiable for us. That effort upon effort and really uh, working hard for each other off the ball. And uh, we need to make sure we keep using that moving forward because um, defence is a really key aspect of the game. Obviously. The next match, obviously, against the Rebels on June 9th. Yeah, it's another step up, which is uh, really exciting. Um, as a group, it's a really uh, unique challenge, and um, we'll certainly prepare that way. Um, you know, the guys obviously have had two hitouts now together. Combinations, as you can see, are starting to form quite nicely. Getting to know each other on the field as well as off the field as well, spending a bit more time together over the next few weeks. So, that's a really exciting challenge. Measure where we're at. Um, make sure we keep ticking the boxes which we want to build towards as a team and as a culture and uh, yeah, it'll be really exciting to come up against obviously the Rebels and then the Crusaders following that so um, yeah, make sure we prepare really well, make sure we review really really hard on what we did today, make sure we're honest with each other, good pats on the back for the good stuff we did and then obviously a few things we can work on there and nullify us. So, um, yeah mate, really exciting build up for the next game obviously. As a player, how do you feel about the Rebels? Because there's some fans who are now view them as their second team because Coaches there, lots of players from the force. Whereas other fans kind of hate them because they're the ones that survived. What's it like as a player? How do you, how do you 
Um, yeah, look, obviously, they got a lot of players that were here previously. Um, a lot of those are really close mates of mine and uh, really support them in their, in their careers and what they're doing. But to be honest, we wouldn't be sitting here today for, if, if whatever happened previously didn't happen. So um, it's obviously presented us with an opportunity here in the West to do what we're doing with World Series Rugby and the Force and um, you know, guys like Sambo and Ben Humphreys over here as coaches, which is really exciting. So I think obviously, yeah, look, it's obviously sometimes it's interesting watching a few guys that you're playing with and you're really close with and obviously you can see a few similarities and patterns that were here previously. But, um, yeah, look, it's going to be really exciting to obviously come up against them and play them and, and test where we're at as a team moving forward. Yeah, how much contact do you have? Rebels and Dave as well. Yeah, obviously the players keep in contact a fair bit with. I think as coaches they get pretty busy, obviously with their uh, with their routines and uh, obviously their week to week sort of structure. So keep in touch with quite a few of the players, not only at the Rebels but um, guys like John Lance at the Reds, uh, Curdy and Alex Newsom at the Waratahs. We went through quite a unique year last year as a group. Um, so a lot of special memories there off the field as well as on the field and what we did there. So. Um, yeah, certainly a lot of good memories with those guys, and that that won't change moving forward. So, um, yeah, really support what they're what they're doing in their careers and, and how they're moving forward, and obviously wish them all the best, and then look forward to playing them coming up in the next few weeks. There might be a lot of people calling it a grudge match. Is it a form of a grudge match? How, how do you? Uh, no, I don't think so, mate. Um, it's obviously just a really good test for us to see where we're at as a group. You know, we'll be together by about three months by that stage. A few more training weeks, two, like I said, two games under the belt. Um, obviously, whenever you play your mates, um, can add a little bit of intensity there, which is always good to test yourself up against your mates like we used to train against each other. So, um, yeah, look, mate, it's really exciting, and um, hopefully the uh, the fans make a stand as well. You know, 15,000 people tonight on Mother's Day. Another really good crowd on a Sunday afternoon, um, which is real credit to the WA community and all our fans over here who are really passionate and love supporting us. So. Uh, as long as we're making them proud on the field with our efforts and how we're playing and how we're preparing for games, that's all that counts for us. Tim, for two weeks in a row, the biggest crowds in Australian rugby have been here. We just saw 5,000 or so Rebels from this game the other night. What do you make of the whole concept of yeah, well, only from only recently living in Canberra, I can understand that people would want to stay indoors on a chilly, chilly night last night but, uh, in Canberra. But it, again, the interaction tonight and, and the whole show um, around the game was fantastic, and um, it's uh, I think the community's buying into it, and um, you know it's, we, we keep talking about it, they deserve it. The, the West Australian rugby followers deserve this, and uh, hopefully it goes bigger and better. And uh, I can't wait to what uh, what's going to be rolled out against the Rebels. But um, yeah, I think that the players are embracing it as well, um, and that they're enjoying supporting the community. Uh, where we are out there a fair bit, and um, yeah, it, it, uh, we're really enjoying this at the moment, and it's going to continue. Yeah, it, uh, it's something as coaches that we've spoken about that we want to give blokes opportunity every week. And uh, uh, I think um, the, guy, the uh, reserves tonight came on and finished the job. And, and that's, you know, it's, it's a full squad effort and you can't ask for anything more than that. Um, you know, we kept the scoreboard ticking over when blokes did come on, which is really important. And, and we go deep in our squad. There's blokes that aren't making the match day squad who are quality players. And, it's our intention um, to get them involved through our World Series rugby and I'm sure they're going to perform as well.